at the time he was 16 years old, my son. Uh, it was kind of a challenging time and I'm trying to work out our relationship. And I woke up one Saturday morning at 6.30 in the morning, everyone's still asleep. And I was thinking about my son and my relationship with him. And I thought, Rob, why don't you do a little mind map? Why don't you come up with some ideas? Because up to that point, I kind of hit that proverbial writer's block. I'm thinking, what else can I do? And that's the perfect time for mind mapping. And so that's exactly what I did. I got a piece of paper out, and I don't think I spent probably more than seven or eight minutes on it. It, it can be pretty fast. And it was amazing, the ideas that I came up with. It's like, you know, incentive trip, you know, trip together if he does these things. It, just, it was a flood of ideas. If technicians are constantly showing up late to appointments, that's a big deal. That will reflect on the customer experience. That will reflect on Google reviews. That will reflect on a lot of different areas of your business. So that would be a great area to sit down and brainstorm. All right, how do we improve technician scheduling so that they're showing up on time or ahead of schedule? Or how about like a technician return rate? You know, every time someone has to go back, that's money lost on productivity. And let's say that you have a 10 to 20% return rate. That's a big number. That's a lot of money lost in productivity of having to go back and take care of something that could have been handled the first time. So what do you do about it? Well, let's sit down, stoke up our imagination, and let's brainstorm some ideas. And you would say, well, of course. Then why don't we do it more often? <laughs> and I would suggest one of those reasons is that we're all so busy. And unless we make time for this, it's one of those things that can very easily slip through the cracks. I think we can all relate to that. How many times have you bought a present or you've seen this happen where someone bought a present for a little kid and what did they do? They took the toy out of the box and what were they doing? They're playing with the box. <laughs> Why? It's because their imaginations were alive and well. They didn't have any constraints yet at that age. Somewhere along the way, most of us have gone through this boxing in experience where we're kind of boxed in as to what we think is possible versus not possible. And that's why these three ideas that I'm about to share with you will help us break out of that box and really unleash our imagination.